Hi, my name's Corey, and I am the Program and Promotions Director here at Camp Arowana. And I just wanted to share a couple words with you today. Uh, when I first came to Camp Arowana, I was about a senior in high school, and my youth pastor at the time um, brought our whole group down here to the river um, at the end of the weekend um, so that she could give just a little devotional talk with just our group that was from our church. So it um, was something that I always remembered, and it was, so, it was a little word that I've shared off and on with different groups, um, whether it's summer staff or whether it is um, cabins that I'm a counselor of. And so I wanted to share that with you here today as well. Uh, basically, um, she talked about how uh, the river is a, um, a very good illustration and image of our life journey, whether it's our faith journey or it's just the road of life in general. And so um, there's some se diff several different stages to that journey that the river symbolizes. And one of those is um, the one that um, we might be more comfortable with, and that is when you're in the current and you're just cruising along and you're comfortable and things are going well and you're at a good steady pace that's, that's easy and comfortable. And you can sit back and you can enjoy the scenery and you can listen to the noise, listen to the, the ducks and whatever else it is that's nearby. And, um, and it's just a good time. It's a good little cruise. And another time is in the river, which sometimes is fun, but sometimes not so much is when you hit some white water, you hit some rocks and some logs and things get a little bumpy. Maybe you get spun around, you gotta redirect yourself and recenter. Um, you get knocked out of your raft. Um, maybe you get bruised and beat up. And um, it's a difficult, challenging time and maybe a little bit frightening. And another one of those seasons along the river is um, a thing called an eddy. That's where the water kind of comes off from the main current and it gets kind of st stuck behind some other big rocks or maybe just more different current and the water just slows down and the water stays in place. And sometimes when you're, we're going down the river, we get in one of those eddies and we may just totally stop and we may just like hover in one spot in the water or maybe we just kind of slur circle around in one small little area but we're not making forward progress down the river. Uh, and sometimes an eddy means that we have to actually make some effort to get out of that eddy, out of that slow spot, that slow period. And we have to actually push ourselves um, we may have to actually get out of our raft or our tube and like actually drag it over some rocks and get back into the current. And basically it, it makes a little bit of effort to get us going again, get us back on track, recentered, and heading down the way we're supposed to be going again. So each of those times are, are pretty picturesque of different seasons of our lives and I'm sure each of you can relate to each of those at different times in your journey. Um, uh, two that are pretty obvious right now that many of us are probably feeling are the, the rapids and being bumped into the rocks, being thrown around, getting beat up and bruised up quite a bit, and then also being stuck in that eddy and just kind of being waiting, just kind of not making forward progress, just kind of like, oh, I have to make some effort here. Uh, I got to push myself out of this. And this is a really weird time in history for all of us, and we're experiencing all sorts of these kinds of things. And uh, uh, the Book of Proverbs has several examples where it asks, what can a man do to find his way? Where does a man find his direction? How does a man find his purpose? Uh, and there's several different passages like that in Proverbs. The answer, of course, always goes back to God. And God helps us find our way. At winter camp this year, our theme was the gifts that we bring. And uh, our focus was um, helping the campers to recognize um, that we all have something to offer that we have ways that we need to be serving others and serving God, and that those things are actually the same thing. And those are our acts of worship. And uh, so one of the passages that we used for that uh, was from John, and it talks about abiding in the Lord. And we kind of took a look at the word abide and what it means, and that's just to dwell with, to be present with, and just kind of be at one with God. And, um, and the conversation basically that we had was that as we abide with Jesus, as we spend time with Jesus, as we know Jesus better, then we become more like Jesus because we're spending time with him. And the people that we're around kind of rub off on us, whether we realize it or not, and whether that's a positive or a negative thing or not. And so as we, become, as we abide with Jesus, we become more like Jesus, then we recognize those gifts, those talents, the blessings, the resources that God has given us, and we have the desire then to pass them on to others and to, and to serve others through sharing those things. And so I think that that same answer is the answer that we have as we go down the river and as we bump up against some rocks or some logs, as we get thrown out of our raft, as we get stuck in an eddy and we're kind of unsure of the future, unsure of what's gonna happen. 
Um, and we're just, we're just looking for answers. And I think that the same answer is to abide in Jesus, to abide with God, to know him and to seek him. And as we do that, we become more like him and we serve others and we worship through those things. And that helps us to get back into the current, back into the direction that we're supposed to be going to find our purpose and to be cruising along despite whatever rocks, logs, eddies, um, whatever else comes along. We can stay in that current and continue, continue continuing on. Um, so thank you for listening. Um, and we are praying for you here at Camp Arowana. And we are excited to see you again whenever that might be. And we just um, pray that you would be abiding with the Lord during this time. Thank you.